Hi everybody, in this video we're going to do something a little new. So in this video what we're going to do is um, one of my viewers was wondering how to make a cube fall down and when it falls down it breaks into pieces. So what we're going to do is I had actually told them that you could go into a modeling software like Blender or Maya or whatever and you would have to make a cube into separate meshes or into a mesh with four pieces. But since it's just a cube what you could do is um, you could actually make a, a cube here in Blender, like I did right here. And as you can see, it has four different meshes or four different cubes. So, and uh, there's eight cubes in total. So four on top, four on the bottom. And uh, all I did was add a rigid body and I added a mesh collider. You could also add a box collider and then uh, you could add a material to add a bounciness. If you want to add the, when the, the actual cube falls, it bounces. But, um, but yeah, if, uh, you need help on the cube all you got to do is make a cube put it to 0.5 each cube so 0.5 on the x 0.5 on the y and 0.5 on the z then all you got to do is um, duplicate each cube and put them next to each other and then once they're next to each other you can grab all four of these cubes duplicate it and then you can bring it up so you can see you could just bring it up and there you go and then you have your cube let me delete this and then once you have your your broken cube so what I did is I made a, a empty game object. I named it broken cube. And then from this um, broken cube, I ended up creating uh, 3D objects, which were just cubes. I put it at 0.5 each. Um, oh, wrong one. So um, I guess it's the right, probably, um, yeah, there you go. It looks smaller because it was at a different view, but it's actually bigger. So I, we, all I did was put 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and 0.5. Make sure you put the point. And then uh, I just duplicated it and then moved it over and then uh, with control or actually I just pushed uh, I click one of them I push shift and I click the other one and I duplicate it with control D and I move it over and then I click the first one the first cube over here in the hierarchy and then I go all the way to the last cube and hit shift and click the last one then I, I click control D to duplicate and then I just bring it up and that's the broken cube so what you would do is you would click on this broken cube, the main one, and then uh, you could either do what I did and just drag it into your assets like this, or what you could also do is, let me delete this one, is you could actually make a prefab folder, so like I did right here. So just create and then folder, and then you can name it. So I named mine already to uh, prefabs. And this is just, this is just to help you uh, stay organized. It's not necessary, but it is very useful. So as you can see, it's red because I had I deleted the prefab. So what I could do is just go under prefab right here, right click, go under this prefab and unpack completely and then just drag it into this one. Now I got this broken cube right here and let me just delete this one. So now we're working with the actual broken cube. Now I have this main cube which does have no cuts, no nothing like that and it is scaled at one, one and one. So it's just a regular cube and it has a rigid body. It has this broken cube script, which I'll show you in a minute. And it has this box collider with it not being a trigger. So the broken cube, it asks for a broken cube game object, which would be this broken cube. So I'll delete it because I already saved it into the prefab folder. And then I'll just drag this broken cube onto it. And then I'll open up the, the script. So I'll, I'll click these three dots, hit edit script. And here's the, the actual code. So I don't need the update function. Well, actually I'm gonna show you what you could do with the update function, but this is pretty much the code that will break the, the game object. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do on collision enter and you have to spell it exactly like this. If not, it won't work. And uh, we have a collision, which I'm not sure if you need, but when you do this, when you start typing it in, it auto completes it for you. So let me show you like on collision exit. And as you can see, it completes it for you just like this. So I'm just gonna leave it like that. And then I'm gonna instantiate the broken cube. So the one that we made that has uh, like eight cubes and we're gonna we're gonna instantiate it. So we're gonna place it uh, where the transform position's at. So where the, the unbroken cube is at and we're gonna use the rotation of the unbroken cube. So it's gonna be in the same exact rotation. And after that, we're just gonna destroy this game object. The game object we're destroying is the one that's not broken. So after that, we'll just hit play. And if all is working correctly, we should see the, the, the cube actually fall and then break once it falls. Okay, so something happened, let me see. 
So cube, but I spoke in cube. So I forgot to mention on these cubes, on these separate cubes, make sure to add a rigid body. And then uh, if you already added it to your prefab, what you could do is go to the main parent, go to overrides, click on it, and then apply all. So it will apply all the changes that you have made. And then you could delete it. If not, it won't save the changes that you have made. So now when we click uh, play, as you can see, it did do it, but it, it was a little weird. So for the reason that might be is because if you see right here, the positions at 11, one and negative three. So what we're gonna do is zero this out real quick and then hit play. And when it breaks, you can still see it kind of act weird. Now, the reason for that is it's not, I guess you could say it's not positioned correctly. So what we could do is double click this broken cube. And now we have this cube right here in the, in its own uh, spot. And then what we could do is collect all these cubes right here. And all we got to do is move them a certain way. So we got to kind of test this out, hit play and uh, see how it looks. So as you can see, it, it moved over here. So just move it down this way, maybe a little back. So now when we hit play, you should see it work. As you can see, uh, let me maximize this now since we got it working. If it works, for some reason Unity's getting an error. Yes, getting an error. It's not letting me um, go full screen. So um, since I can't go full screen, let me just stretch all this stuff out. If you guys know a fix for that, let me know in the comments. Every once in a while, I'll get this little error that won't allow my game view to go into full screen. It doesn't really hurt my progress, but it gets annoying sometimes. As you can see, it breaks and they bounce and uh, they land on the floor. Now, if you wanted to add like more bounce to it, all you would have to do is go to your prefab, click all your cubes right here where it says mesh collider. You would have to add a, an actual material, a physical material. So a physical material, all you would have to do is right click, go to create, go down to physical material. Then you could re uh, name it to whatever you want. I just have it as a default name. And then you could add your bounciness right here. Friction is if the object's gonna slide or not. So if you don't have any friction, it should slide. And then let's just add bounciness one. So you can see how it bounces even more. And as you can see, it just keeps bouncing all over the place. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much how you make a box that breaks. Now you could also do this exact function in, uh, in different methods. So let's say right here I put on mouse down and I remove this parameter. So this is a function that is also uh, provided by Unity, just like update. So what on uh, mouse down does is when you actually click on an object that has a collider in your game, it will run this code. So I'm gonna hit play. And when, when I actually click it this time, it will break instead of falling. So as you can see, it broke when I clicked it. And you could also do it like per se, in, or let's say in an update method and a start method whatever you wanted, you could, you know, or you could even do it, let's say when your bullet object or whatever hits that cube, which would be on collision enter, then you know, you could break the, the actual cube. So you could also do it like on an input. So, so like that, all we would have to do is copy and paste this and close this parentheses. And of course delete this cause we don't need it no more. So now when I hit space, the cube will break. So later on, I'll show you guys how to code. I just wanted to show the viewer that, you know, wanted to know how to break a cube. Just wanted to show them how to do this real quick. But later on, I'll explain this more in detail. So if you guys are a little confused right now, don't worry. I will cover all of this in better detail. So now when I hit space, it should break. So space, and there you go. And yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, if anyone has any questions, let me know in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer them. Let's say you wanted to do the same thing with this little guy right here. So what you would have to do is in Blender or in Maya or any modeling software, you would have to make a mesh exactly like this and pretty much cut him into pieces. That way when he falls, the pieces will just fall right off. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys liked this video, if it helped you out in any way, hit that like button. If uh, you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button. And once again, thank you.